Ladies and gentlemen, victory is finally ours. After a set of failures, we finally won a major order. Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! The most recent major order which saw the start of the Second Galactic War is complete. The freshly constructed Seif basic training facilities are up and running, thanks to the tireless defensive operations of the Helldivers. First class of recruits has already graduated, having demonstrated superior proficiency in rifle operation, mobility, and obedience. Now, trained and ready, they are headed to the front lines to do their part in the defense of freedom. So long as the training facilities remain under super Earth control, Seif's support to planetary liberation will be augmented by a steady flow of enthusiastic new recruits. If they are lost, however, Seif support will decrease and subsequent planetary liberation will become more difficult. So by the sounds of that success briefing, it sounds like long as we keep these planets, we'll have more abilities to use in the battlefield. My guess is stuff like artillery, certain stratagems maybe, certain bonuses on planets. We'll get those more often if we manage to keep these planets, but if we lose them, then we'll decrease in those bonuses in those artillery sub-objectives throughout the war to come. Which honestly I think is really cool. It gives us a sort of a goal aside from the major order. It gives us planets to control that aren't necessarily a high priority but it's something to keep in the back of our mind that we can keep these planets and get bonuses out of them if we want. And obviously because we succeeded in the last major order we have a new one right off the bat and the briefing for this one is Across the Federation, patriotic citizens are doing their part for the war effort. Young, old and previously infant firm citizens are filling the gaps on munition lines left by those who excitedly and voluntarily reported for frontline duty. The fervent faith of super earth citizens for the war effort deserves to be rewarded viscerously. To that end, the Helldivers are ordered to demonstrate the unassailable might of a united citizenry by destroying even greater numbers of our enemies than ever before. Terminates or automatons, our citizens deserve to witness the fruits of their patriotic labor in the lifeless bodies of freedom's foes. So ladies and gentlemen, we have to kill a lot of bugs and a lot of bots. How many you ask? Well, we have to kill 3,141,592,653 to be exact. This is getting out of hand. That is a mighty number, but unlike previous major orders where we had to kill a certain amount of bugs or a certain amount of bots, we can kill either to sort of contribute to this major order, which honestly I think is pretty cool. I think that's going to be happening a lot more often now that we're actually at war, now that the Second Galactic War has begun. I think we're going to start to see major orders that are joint for both fronts rather than just the bug front just the bot front that's just my theory on this but i think it will start to pop up more often that we get these major orders where it's face both enemies not just one or the other gives players the freedom of choice and you know obviously people have preferences on what they want to face they're in certain moves to face a different enemy i know i hate swing between bots and bugs quite often where if i get sick of bugs i'll go to bots if i get sick of bots i'll go to bugs some people just want to do bugs some people just want to do bots and i can fully understand that and major orders like this will help with that because obviously some people maybe are not like some of us that just want to do the major orders and contribute a lot to them they'll want to do what's fun for them which is either face the bugs or the bots and do certain missions and so by having these joint major orders that will actually improve the community behavior and positivity in that community because no longer will we have people going ah these guys are just fighting the bugs when they should be fighting the bots because the bots are what we should be fighting for the major order that will start to stop if we start seeing more of these joint major orders. So hopefully they keep up with this kind of thing. This one is honestly pretty cool. Obviously it's another kill order which we've had quite a few of recently. As of recording this video, we are at 471,705,301 bots and bugs killed. A total of 15% overall. We've got four days and 10 hours left as of recording this video. So I'm interested to see how we do in the end. Obviously already at 15% after about a day or less than. So I'm keen to see how everyone finishes this up. And honestly, looking at the map real quick, it seems like we're kind of at a stalemate. I feel like we've been fighting in the Hydra sector and the Umlaut sector for a while. Like these three sectors is here on the terminal front, the Marin sector, the Draco sector, and the Jin Z sector. Yeah, it feels like we're at a bit of a stalemate in the war just in general. So I'm interested to see if we get a major push anytime soon because one planet I really want to go to real soon is Cyberstan. And we were close when the initial automaton invasion fleet came in. We were close to being able to access Cyberstan, but uh, unfortunately that hasn't happened since the automatons did a heavy push outwards. But it's good to see that 
we're sort of keeping them back and we're keeping it very stalemate at the moment because they could easily swarm us if we let them on both sides obviously meridia is still screwed up so hopefully we see some results from that soon i want to know what's going on there is there something new coming out of it like i said i thought there was going to be a new mutated terminid coming out of there i still think that's going to happen it just hasn't happened yet people were saying hive lords stuff like that so i'm hopefully going to see that soon in the game i think the next big update will be for a terminid enemy type or a terminid push especially if it's not a new faction like the illuminate or even a new faction entirely i think terminids are the next to sort of get a big update so keen to see what happens there and obviously just still enjoying the game so let me know in the comments down below what front you're going to be fighting on like i had asked in the last video this one is a bit more relevant are you going to be killing bugs or are you going to be killing bots how are you going to contribute to this new major order let me know in the comments down below like the video if you enjoyed it become a member today if you're interested in supporting me in a completely other way you'll get early access to videos and live streams subscribe for more Helldivers 2 content and i'll see you guys in the next one bye